Yo, what's going on? It's Radium Records here in Hollywood, California. I'm Bradley Denniston, and today I'm gonna get into five simple steps to setting up a really nice music production setup on a budget. Let's get right into it. Step one, and very, very necessary in today's modern music production world, you are going to need a DAW, which stands for Digital Audio Workstation. There are plenty of them out there. There are free DAWs out there. And what they're allowing you to do is basically record yourself, take sound, sounds, arrange sounds, make beats, plugins, all that good stuff on your computer. So if you got a computer, you're gonna need a DAW if you want to be making modern records. You can do it on your iPad even nowadays. But some that I recommend, I love Logic Pro. I also have a Logic Pro production pack, shameless self-plug. Click that link in the description. You can pick it up where I've created a bunch of channel strips for you to get started in recording, producing, mixing, mastering. But Logic Pro is dope. Number two, Pro Tools. Love Pro Tools. It's awesome. Great for audio editing. Uh, you can get it on a monthly subscription plan if you don't want to pay all up front. And I think there's different tiers as well. So you got the free tier, you got a monthly $10, $15 a month. It all depends on what you need, but getting started, you're going to need a DAW. Step number two, and the second thing you'll need is a MIDI controller. A MIDI controller is basically a keyboard or pads or anything that connects to your computer through USB. It'll allow you to fire off sounds, play pianos, strings, synthesizers, drums, basically anything and everything. It's going to control all of your MIDI instruments, which is really dope. And you'll need that as well as your keyboard and mouse, right? So it's kind of an extension. It's much more musical to play with. And there's a bunch of controllers out there on the market. I recommend and love, and I'm not sponsored by, Arturia. Arturia makes some great stuff. I have the 88 Key Lab. It's a pro, full weighted, really nice if you like piano. And they also have some other ones that are smaller, you know, 49, 25 keys, all that good stuff. But you'll need a MIDI controller if you're trying to make music. Step three. Yeah, you made it to step three. And the third thing you will need pair of headphones or some really nice speakers, monitors, something that you can listen back to your music with, right? So as you're producing, you're using your MIDI keyboard inside of your DAW, you're gonna definitely need something to play back. I recommend these Audio-Technica ATH-50s. These are great. These are amazing headphones. I've had these and used these for years and I keep buying more and more pairs of them. They're just amazing. I mean, look, they look like they've been chewed on by a dog. These are great. I would actually rather have these in an untuned room, an untreated room, than some monitors, some speakers. But there are some very affordable speakers out there. I really like the Cali Audio speakers. You can get those for a very good deal. And you guys, let me know. Give me some recommendations in the comments. I would love to have some recommendations on more affordable monitoring because I use the Amphion 218s with M700 monoblock amps, and that's just not affordable for a lot of people. That runs about nine to ten thousand dollars for my speaker setup but you can get a lot of affordable options the yamaha h series hs series hs5 7s uh, 8s people love those i don't i think they sound like paper they sound like crap to me but you know you do you boo but it's definitely something you'll need some speakers or some headphones and if you can only afford one or the other i'd rather have headphones i think you'd get a lot better mixes out of them step number four and the fourth thing you'll need is a microphone definitely need a microphone to capture your vocals guitars any instruments you're planning on recording which if you're rapping you're going to need to wrap into a microphone. That's how it works. If you don't want to get an audio interface, which interfaces your microphone with your computer to record through, you can find USB microphones on the market now that have the converter within them. So you just plug the USB directly into the mic and directly into your computer. And you can actually just use that if you don't want to buy anything else. You can have a computer, a DAW, a MIDI controller, a microphone with a USB directly in. But I highly recommend that you get something of some sort of quality. Audio-Technica, same company that makes these headphones, also makes some great microphones that are very affordable. Uh, the 40 series, the 4020, 4030, 4040, 4060. They're great microphones. There's differences between microphones. We won't get into all of that, but a great vocal mic that I would recommend for an affordable price is the Audio-Technica 4030. Great microphone, 4040, if you you want to go a little bit further up and the 4060 is actually a really great mic with a tube in it so it gives a little color sounds great 
on hip hop vocals. Sounds great on drums, guitars, singing. Also, second uh, recommendations for affordable microphone that's really high quality. The 412, I think it is. It's the sibling to the 414. I think it's the 412C or 414C or something like that. But basically, it's a great microphone and uh, check it out because it's worth it. You'll need a microphone. All right, and step five, last but not least, certainly not least, an audio interface and some additional plugins if you want, but you don't really need additional plugins because a lot of DAWs come with stock plugins that are really great. And again, I dropped my Logic Pro and Pro Tools production pack, link right there in the description, and I only use stock plugins in those packs. So you can just have Logic or Pro Tools and use those packs right away and get some great vocal chains, drum presets, mixing chains, mastering chains, some great sounds and samples for you to get started right away. But you will definitely need some sort of interface if you're going to be recording a lot of information. Uh, you want to plug speakers out, all that good stuff. I highly recommend the UAD Apollo series. Those are amazing. I happen to have both the Apollo Rack X6 and the Apollo Twin desktop model, and I use them every single day. They're amazing, as well as the plugins being amazing. And that's it. That's all you really need. It's actually more than you need, probably. Going into 2023, who knows? We might be just like using our Neuralink and making records, right? <laughs> With AI technology. No. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. More music production, plugins, mixing, mastering, music industry, music business, sync licensing. I'm going to try to give you guys as much game as possible coming into the new year. Really appreciate you guys coming through. Seriously. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel, getting us to over 10,000 subscribers. And let's keep learning and growing together. Happy producing. Go get that shit going. Peace.